Today in the grain market, soybeans were steady today. That domestic demand is strong right now. The trade action was a little bit mixed, kind of uh, spending time on both sides of unchanged, but it really ended up a little bit firm. I think futures are still gravitating towards that $15 mark. Option open interest, though, did make a big move. 6,600 calls uh, were added on Thursday from $15 up to $15.70. Uh, that almost looks like, uh, you know, uh, there's uh, people are positioning for the report coming tomorrow. Seavel is at 17.6% and the oil is 34.6% and soybean meal 24.9%. Now corn was higher today. Tomorrow's WASI report just might uh, reveal a little bit tighter supplies. That has everyone uh, just kind of like watching and perhaps uh, firming up that market. The futures did, though, start lower, uh, but bounced kind of quickly with a, a little bit of momentum, actually. So uh, remember that good planting weather is ahead. Uh, that will kind of weigh on futures and keep it, keep uh, you know, maybe slow the rally a little bit. Uh, we're still hanging right around that $6.50 mark. Option open interest, who had a little bit of small buying right now in the May and July, not really much of anything else. Seavel right now is at 22.1%, so a little bit on the lower side. We today did firm up uh, that Russia is not expected to add more time to that uh, Black Sea grain deal. The futures were up about a dime. I really expected them to be up a little bit further, but not quite yet. I think that you know, everyone's just waiting to see exactly what's going to happen. So the market just seems to be struggling to reverse this downward pressure uh, just because our prices are just too high uh, based on worldwide prices. But uh, who knows, maybe this could be the ticket. The CVAL is up about three quarters of a percent to 32.8. And, you know, now that we're after the holiday weekend, traders just seem to be quickly positioning before that USDA report. Um, but keep in mind that money managers and index funds were all buyers in all of the grains across the board. So I think that that might be a little bit of a tell or just something to watch for as we go forward.